Okay, here we go. This one's called Someone Cloned Me in China. Last Wednesday, I woke up, habitually went to check my phone, and saw this message. Do you speak any Mandarin? I think someone steals your photos and videos on Chinese social media. At that moment, I had already known that someone was re-uploading my YouTube content to Chinese social media websites, which was annoying but didn't bother me too much. But when I went to check the links this person sent me alongside their message, I was shocked. Wait, what? Mm. Wait, what? Wait, did they? Is this AI? They freaking AI'd her, dude. They made like an AI. Holy shit! This is not Olga. Her name is April, and she's been living in China for eight years. She has my voice, my face, and she speaks fluent Mandarin. And here's Natasha. She's a 31-year-old Russian woman who decided to come to China to sell and advertise Russian food. I kept checking the links, terrified to realize that there's not one, but an army of my clones. Each Holy fuck. Thousands of likes and comments. But the worst part of the story... Wait, guys. If they're using this, if they're using this for like social media and like cultural influence warfare, then would that make this the Clone Wars? Still await me. This is so creepy. I feel so uneasy watching this. Thanks That's so crazy. GPT and multimodal models. See, like this is this this is a bad use of AI. I think this is a, a use of AI. We can all agree that this is fucking immoral. Now have a recent <clears throat> explosion of AI deepfakes, which can generate narrative, video, and audio. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. I've seen them before. How Holy they shit! Impersonate celebrities and political figures. But I never expected to see myself in one of those deep fakes. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, one day, one day, dude, it's gonna happen. There's gonna be a case. There's gonna be like a murder case where like somebody just gets stabbed in like broad daylight, and they're just gonna be like, we have we have uh, camera evidence that you did this, and it's gonna be a deep fake, dude. My own Instagram feed, I would always see <clears throat> these. And then there's gonna, they're gonna use the it was a deep fake defense. Oh my goodness. Fakes. Some pretending to be Andrew Huberman to advertise supplements, for example. Or some making memes about how Donald Trump and Joe Biden are having fun with... Leaf, wait, well, what? Leaf, Leaf, you speak what? Swahili? No, what the fuck? What? Oh my goodness. Yo, thanks for the follow. Thank you. Uh, thank you, JJ. Thank you. Other. It was quite easy to detect these fakes, and I didn't give it another thought until I saw my face circulating in Chinese. Dude, what do you even do about that? You can't even do anything about that, right? What are you gonna do, complain to China? They're gonna tell you to fuck off. Social media. I then translated the videos with Google Translate and figured out the most terrifying part. <clears throat> The narratives my clones were voicing oh my God. sounded like blatant propaganda. Every single account that used my face seemed to have a hidden agenda that they were pushing. I want you to take a close look at this account called Natasha Imported Food. They portray her as a 31-year-old Russian woman who sells and advertises Russian products. So, like, did they just find, like, her videos? They found her videos and then they just cloned her? Dude. And here, she already has 140,000 fans. And she has a ton of videos on my face where she likes saying how much she likes Russia and how much Russia needs Chinese economic support. And let's see what she actually has to say in regards to it. Russian people will always remember. I really appreciate China. Well, Holy shit. Away from Russia, only China is behind the quiet support. This is straight up propaganda. Russian stuff. It's your support to help Russia meet its immediate needs. China and Russia are good neighbors. China-Russia friendship lasts forever. 
and then she proceeds to advertise her Russian candies and you can actually go here and you can buy the candies that she's advertising which is kind of crazy because for example I haven't like I haven't made even like a one dollar from YouTube at the moment and she already uses my face they already use my face to make a profit which is very funny to me and this is the other clone uh her name is bro Central, and the storyline that they came up the only way the only way to find it is uh time to clone yourself time to time to clone yourself and get that cash what the fuck was for her is that she's been uh studying in china and then she decided to stay in this country because she likes china so much i think china is the most powerful country i like china Holy shit. and she's saying dude Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. This is so blatant. It's so blatant. You welcome Russian girls to marry in China and she's saying I hope the sign of Russian friendship will last forever. And what's interesting is You know though I think it's very telling though if you have to fabricate things if you have to fabricate things to like tell tell you that that like like you have to fabricate things that say they like you. That it's not only Latasha and April. There's also it's like mega copium, dude. It's like next level, like like four D, five D chess copium. Dozens of other clones that you can see right here, and all of these clones is what you guys have been sending me because some people have been sending me all of these different accounts that i didn't even know existed <laughs> pr copia of videos that i've watched the majority of my clients oh my god talk about how great their relationship oh well, well i'm never getting a chinese sponsorship now in russia and china is and how much russia needs chinese economic support is that why is that why i didn't get in into the genshin impact creators program is that why am i blacklisted it seems like the main narrative of these clones is to strengthen the relationship between these two countries, presenting me or my clone as a Russian POV. As a Ukrainian, this has obviously been infuriating for me. After all, my family has to hide during air raid sirens and hundreds of thousands of my fellow Ukrainians are getting displaced, injured or killed because of the Russian Oh attacks. my god. And now I'm seeing the copy of myself, my clone, advocating and sympathizing with the Russian Federation. Dude, can you imagine if Nazi Germany had access to deepfakes, dude? There would be like concentration camp, like happy concentration camp videos of like, dude, it would be fucking crazy if they had that, right? Do the amount of evil you could do with this? See, this is the real scary shit. This is the real AI scary shit. Like all that AI art shit That's is fucking nothing. In Western China. Dude, probably. You mean with like uh yeah. With like the, the work camps and stuff? You know that always kinda that always kinda confused me? How like there's a lot of people that complain about like uh there's a lot of people that complain about like like you know like racism and slavery but like that's happening like right now and people don't really care about it you know i don't even know if someone's writing the scripts for these fake videos like having read so much russian propaganda in my life this almost but yeah so what i was saying is like this is the real this is the real scary AI stuff. All of the, the the AI art stuff is nothing. It is just it is just like it it's not it's not really a big deal compared to like all this shit that could happen. Like some official endeavor which is very similar to Russian troll armies on Twitter. But the truth is, it can also be a fully automated model where everything starting from the script is automated. They can scale this clone to hundreds of copies and then some of them can become viral and then you can generate more engagement by just sticking to the most successful storylines. If you check the recommended videos next to my fakes, you can actually see tons of videos with girls 
whose faces look kind of unnatural and filtered, huh. which actually reveals that they're also fake. It's got that little bit of warping. Dude, but see, that's that's just now. All of that warping is just now. Here you can find a ton Soon, of it's going to be impossible to tell. Soon. Well, In like the next five years, here, it's, you, it's you're not going to even be able to tell. And here, the clone is saying that she mm. wants to stay in China for the rest of her life, and she wants to find a Chinese husband, which is extremely funny to me. And from what I know, Lana Blakely never said anything about China, and she lives in Sweden. And I wonder if she even knows that her face was also stolen here. You Lots know, of the real women behind these AI. You know what's interesting? Have you guys seen that video? Uh, there's like a video about like in China they built like Paris. They built like a copy of Paris in China. You guys heard about that? That's that's pretty crazy, actually. Don't even know about the existence of these clones. Yeah, Actually, they built a copy, yeah. like a carbon copy of of Paris that you can live in in China. Have been copied there as well, and have no idea. Just like I didn't know before. No one lives there. Yeah. Me there and told <clears throat> me about it. What's crazy is that in all of these fake videos with my face, there's tons of people commenting things like. I mean, you got you got to be you got to admit though, being that good at ripping shit off. If you can rip off an entire city, that's next level. That's actually so next level. I'm not even mad. That's crazy. Oh, you're so pretty. That's like some oh, skill right there. That's some next level oh, ripping off. Reply to me in the messages, and all of these people mm. do not even seem to question. Wait, no, the no me. politics rules enforced by Twitch. But there's there's no no politics rule on Twitch. What are you talking about, streamers? You could talk about politics on on Twitch. It's not that you can't talk about it. It's that people get mad when you talk about it. It's a different thing. You're seeing is real. What's interesting is that to me, my face does look a little unnatural. It's way too filtered. Like I can see the. Filter. Does it go? Says what's the what's the point of ripping off a whole city? I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's like you could live in like a copy of Paris, in like your home country. Like, I mean, I'm thinking, put it this way. Like, if they made, like, a copy of, like, like a certain segment of Tokyo, and they made a copy of it, and it was, like, it looked just like Tokyo, like, like you're telling me, like, you wouldn't be interested in, like, possibly living there if you were a weeb? And and there's probably a lot of people in China that are, like, you know, Paris Abus, you know? French booze. Filter right here. And here. Oh! No, no, no. Yeah, they're... We 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 a booze. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> My Chinese friend said that actually in China, all of the media. Is I was literally about to say that when you said that, correct? <laughs> they put filters on actors' faces, which I thought was crazy. Uh, so I guess they're just used to this concept. Yeah, I mean, what if they did that? Like, are you telling me if they didn't make, like, a copy of, like, a city from, like, a game that you like? And they're like, you know, you could own, like, that house from that video game and live in that town. People would lo people would love to live there, right? Like, like I, I can understand. I can see it. I can see it. It's just, like, I don't know, China built too many houses. You know what I mean? We live in an era where AI-generated content is everywhere. Artificial intelligence has made our lives easier. It made it easier to complete manual tasks, to check grammar, to even create art or write books. But in the hands of people with suspicious motives, it becomes a dangerous machine that can help spread propaganda, influence they public opinion, or They copied a whole Italian town in Tianjin, China. Activity. Holy crap! These models will continue improving, but how will we discern reality in a world we're seeing is no longer believing. Actually, there are currently discriminative networks being developed, which can help figure out whether the media that we're seeing is generated artificially. So if a human won't be able to spot a deep fake, will a machine help us do it? Oh yeah. You're gonna have to use the AI to fight the AI. It's gonna be it's gonna be the same with like anti-cheats. Like they're gonna make AI cheats and then you're gonna have to have AI anti-cheats. It's the only way. I asked a computer scientist We're getting there soon. At Stanford University. Because how do you how do you detect how do you detect an AI an AI cheat program? 
right? It could literally just like run like your mouse software and stuff like that. And it could just replicate to like look like it's a, uh, like you're just really pro, right? And then they're going to have uh, people, it's going to be, it's going to have to be AI anti cheats the only way. Coincidentally, my boyfriend. I'm unfortunately not very up to date with the Thanks for the follow. Models, Thank you. The models, but, um, one that I do remember learning about was called generative Thank you. Uh, uh, she, she Sheng Kwai. Thank you. So essentially, there's two networks competing against each other, and one network is trying to mm. fool the other network into believing that. Yeah, it's going to be like AI versus AI, AI PvP coming up soon. It's kind of like hackers. You guys know about that? Like, you, like that's how you fight hackers is you hire your own hacker to like fight that hacker. It's just the same thing. So the it's gonna be like cyberpunk. You have police and you have counterfeit money manufacturers. In other words, fake money manufacturers. So the goal of the police is to be able to detect. Yeah, I have, I have a friend that does that. And then the goal of the counterfeit money manufacturers. Well, my good friends does. I haven't talked to them in a while though. I probably should get in touch again. Police can detect and. Dude, she was crazy, dude. My ha my hacker friend was 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 fucking nuts. She like she basically was the one. Uh, uh, she was the one that like hacked uh, ha hacked the Xbox. I think she hacked the Xbox. Like you know the big Xbox hack where like uh you could run homebrew on it and shit like that. She was the one who did that. And then dude, she she was crazy. Like she she was like a a, a PSO player, and like she could just kill you if she wanted. Like, she just kills you and she nukes your fucking account if she wanted to. She would do that to people. Like, people that were, like, that would mess with her, she'd fucking destroy them. Like, she she would heal them and it would kill them instantly. And then it would it would corrupt your save file. She was crazy. She was really, really crazy hacker. Dude, she got, she got, she got up and involved with the FBI and stuff, dude. They were, like, after her. Yeah. Yeah. The she works at a big game company now. And so this is as an anti anti hacker. Oh yeah, if you had a hacker girlfriend, you pissed her off. That yeah. The algorithm of how to create the best optimal face so that it fools the model that detects. And the way it's applicable is because these Make sure she ain't I should. Even if you have some kind of an automated model, I should. Last time I talked to her was on Battle.net, dude. Well, that continuously scans these Chinese uh, TikTok or regular TikTok and says, this face is fake and this face is not fake. Well, suddenly, if you have this amazing model, then the other model can learn from it, leading to even worse deep fakes that are completely indistinguishable from reality. It's kind of a self-fulfilling loop. There's no way to escape it. It's only going to get more indistinguishable. And so we should... The, the thing that's really interesting, though, is it's going to speed up progress in, like, like science and stuff, right? Like, I'm really hoping they start using, like, AI and stuff to, like, research cancer. You know what I mean? If you, like, have AI, like, able to, like, take a crack at, like, a, a bunch of this genetic shit, like, I'm hoping we can get, like, a lot of cures for, like, crazy diseases. Actively start talking about how to incorporate AI-produced content into these platforms in a reliable and safe way. Yo, Woof Wolf, thanks for the sub. Thank you. Thank you for the prime. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for 35 months. Holy shit. Thank you. And thanks, uh, Purple Flash for the follow and Rude Ronin. Uh, Optimize says, with the money in cancer, well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though, is as, as AI progresses, right, it's going to get in the hands of people that once, once, like, crazy technology gets into the hands of the common person, it, you can't fucking hide it anymore. You know what I mean? And I, and I do believe like there, there is a possibility that a lot of these, these uh, treatment places, like, you know, it's kind of conspiracy theory, but there, there is, I, I don't think it's implausible that they would withhold treatment um, of certain, well, I mean, <laughs> then again, like you have a lot of rich people that do die from a lot of these things, right? Like Steve Jobs, for, exa for example, died from cancer, right? So it's 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 kind of like Yeah, but but anyway, like like AI getting into the hands of the common person is going to be similar to like uh there was a case where uh you guys know CRISPR, like the whole genetic uh like the ability to like genetically modify shit. 
that became so easy that the average person has access to it now. Like you, you right now could purchase a kit to splice jeans and shit like that. You could do it right now. You could buy it under a hundred dollars and you could do your own fucking like genetic experiments and stuff like that. Um, and you know, of course that, that does present a lot of risks. It's the same thing with AI where AI is going to present a lot of risks, uh, when it becomes, uh, more widely available to like the common person, but also there's a lot of advancement that could come from that. That is like unblockable by like big companies. Right. Because if, if you know, AI exists and the average person could do it, then, then some random person could just do it. But it's unclear how to do it. There's research groups around the world in different universities. I'm sure at Stanford as well, for example, it's kind of inevitable that these models will become better and better as your reality is getting blurrier and blurrier. Many people love influencers. We they tried to block CRISPR? Holy fuck. Did they really? Follow their day-to-day, -day, what they're doing, what they're eating, what they're wearing. But we might reach a point where there's going to be no noticeable difference between an AI-generated influencer and a human one. This is a kind of... What do you guys think? Do you guys have a problem? From Barcelona. Do you guys have a problem with like AI influencers? Like if there was like a person who was like, I want to like be an influencer, but like, I don't, I don't really want to show myself. Like, could I just like, you just made like, you just made up your own persona. What's the difference between that really and VTubing? You know what I mean? If like the content is kind of real, at least like in the sense that like you, you, you try stuff, you talk, you like add some content to the world, right? Like who cares really? Yeah, like, I don't really care. Honestly, Luna, with hundreds of thousands of followers, and she's promoting famous brands like Victoria's Secret. I honestly think it's nice for it to be more accessible to like more people, you know. Gas and Olaplex. She earns up to ten thousand euros a month, yet she's entirely created by AI. I do not. I do mind if it's uh, intentionally scammy or yeah. Well, I mean, like we can all agree that that lying is bad, right? If you basically say. If you basically like, um, you try to pass it off as like, it's if like someone asks you and then you like basically say, no, it's not AI. Then like, then like, that's a problem, right? Her entire existence is a carefully crafted illusion by teams of engineers and social media managers. And this blurs the line between reality and AI even further. It's worth saying that human influencers already routinely filter their images, but what's going to happen with AI influencers who can obviously have perfect bodies and perfect pictures all the time? And what's going to be the impact on the growing population and our understanding of uh, realistic body goals? But this is a question for another video. Recently, The Guardian has posted an article about the rise of digital clones in China. Real influencers put their AI digital clones in live streams where the clone is reviewing the products the influencer is supposed to review. And then they're going to be able to generate even more revenue and more views without actually participating themselves in the live stream. An AI startup called Silicon Intelligence can generate an AI clone for you for as little as 8,000 yuan, which Holy is crap. $1,100. They only need a minute long video of you to generate a virtual live streamer. In October, there was a proposed guideline from the Chinese government to start asking for written permission, written consent from people who are getting cloned. But Damn, you don't even have to ask a person if you can clone them. You just fucking clone them, bro. This new AI law is still not finalized, so my consent wasn't required. This situation brings a lot of ethical questions about identity misrepresentation. I think that's unethical. This also means I, I, I think that's unethical to use someone's li uh, likeness without. I mean, that's why they, they they have that thing right in in um uh, in contracts where it says like you know we can use your likeness to like sell this product or whatever right like anytime you like you you show yourself on something uh, because because it's kind of like your brand right like you yourself are like, your own brand so it's kind of like. Yeah, it is like really unethical. We need robust regulatory frameworks to ensure that we are transparent in how we're using AI-generated content. 
because this can potentially lead to harming individual reputations. And Dude, shit is gonna be so crazy in 10 years, guys. In like 10 years, shit's gonna be fucking wild. Trust. Think about how crazy shit, think about like the, the leap just 10 years ago from now. You know? Like the 1080 wasn't even out yet. I guess my last question is, why would they use my face to generate this content? Why did they use the face of Lana Blakely and other YouTubers? What is the Give it another five years, and that TikTok house from the last video won't exist anymore. It'll all be AI. It's because you're hot. motive behind repurposing the identities of countless bloggers and who is it's it's because you're hot and you sound hot is behind these fakes that seem too close to propaganda promoting nationalistic ideas about china and russia also uh, if you guys didn't know this like um if you're <sighs> You know how I was talking earlier? Uh, yo, D Daco, but thank you so much for the follow. You know, I was talking earlier about how, like, everyone thinks, like, America is, like, super racist. You know, like, in Asia, if you're, like, you put, like, a white person on screen, it seems more credible. That's, like, an actual thing in Asia. They, they do it. They do it all the time. There's no bullshitting. They put, like, a, they put, like, a white person up there to do, like, announcements and stuff like that because it, like, looks more credible. 100%. 100%. Yeah, especially British accents. Yeah, e exactly. There are more questions than answers, and I will certainly continue researching this topic. Your awareness and engagement are crucial in this new digital frontier. Yeah, there's actually an entire an entire industry for it in Japan. In Japan, where like if you're like you know you're like a fairly look a fairly good looking like white person, you could you could we get it you could get a job here, doing that kind of thing, like, like doing like a trench coat like and commercials and stuff like that. The lines between AI and reality are increasingly blurred. Please follow me on this YouTube channel and share this video with a friend so more people can see the dangers behind this new digital revolution. Stay informed, question everything, because together we have the power to shape our online world. That's pretty crazy. That's really creepy, actually. But I'm telling you, like, this is... This is the real shit in AI. This is the real thing to be afraid of. It's not AI art. It's not it's not ChatGPT. This is the thing to be worried about. Is this kind of shit? Is this deep fake stuff? That's the stuff that's going to be really fucked. Damn, what a 